office that will be prosecuting cases that deal with cell phone technology and warrants and bringing a case before the court, we always advise them that if it is possible to get a warrant prior to um, either searching a cell phone or pinging, unless you have an exigent circumstance such as an emergency situation. Uh, we treat warrants and search warrants the same way we would in the more traditional non-technological context that if you have the ability to get it, that someone won't get harmed or injured, then get the warrant and proceed accordingly. The court should settle the issue of when to get warrants for cell phones because it is criminal procedure. It is the purview of the courts, of the judicial system, and that's where it rightfully belongs. It doesn't necessarily rightfully belong in a legislative process to lay out that criminal procedure. So there's a case pending between before the Supreme Court right now on this point, and let's see what the court says. Let them take in all of the facts. Let them take in all of uh, prior case law, a lot of which is not looked at when a bill is considered in the General Assembly. So I think the Supreme Court of Rhode Island will have a more comprehensive view, and they will look at it from the point of justice within the judicial system and the criminal procedure process.